Hey everyone, doing a video on how to use the Dragon Lock template, which I've posted in the Effect House Discord, plus it'll also be on my website, which I'll link in the description below. Okay, so if you're not too familiar with the Dragon Lock or Dragon Drop TikTok effect style, it's basically you'll hold a touch position or I guess mouse position in this case, and when you lock, put it near a position, it just locks in. Uh, so for this effect, uh, these are, I guess, random Taylor Swift songs, and I have five positions set in. So after one position is set, a new song will be generated on screen, which you can put in another position. You can't really overlap it on current positions, only new ones. Epiphany 5, Exile 4, Karma 3. And then at the end, my top five shows up. So if you want to use this template with your own images, this is how you do it. The first thing I'd say is to delete the random images. So for this effect, I used around 70, I think 75 Taylor Swift songs, and it does take up a bit of space to play megabytes. As, and as we do have a size limit, uh, I suggest the first thing you do is just delete this. Oop. Now rename, delete. Next, uh, import the images that you would like to use. So import and then go to texture sequence. We're going to use a texture sequence for this one as it's a bit easier to, uh, I guess, select images through the bunch. So we'd hit texture sequences and for texture sequences, all the images have to be the same size. So the resolutions have to be the same or it will not work. Now this is a group of images I had from an older video I did, an older project. Import these. And the sequence will be named after the first image in the sequence, if they're not, I guess, in order. So if it was, if the first image was one and the second image was two, we'll probably just have one to two. But as each of the images have a different name, it's just gonna be called the, it's just gonna name itself with the name of the first image. So now that we've imported the image sequence, all you have to do is swap it out in the animated textures. So come over here, and yeah, so do that for one. Let's also change this to three, four, and five and for the general sense of the effect for general functionality this is basically all you need to do so let's hit play now you may realize the resolution squares it's because it does compress it because the default is a square so there are ways to change this but for the tutorial's sake i'm just going to go through how this would work and i'm sure you can change it afterwards so just drag Zoro into the one position. Zoro again into the one into the two position. Uh, Yuji, Shinra, and Zoro again. So you might be wondering why we have three Zoros and I did this on purpose. That's because the second thing you have to do is get the number of frames in your texture sequence. Uh, by default, because I had 77 for the Taylor Swift effect, you have to change this number matching the amount of images that you imported. So if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was around 25. And for example, if it is, if there were 24 images imported, but I put 25, what this will do is it will output the second number, the second, the last number twice. So that's why we had all those, I guess, uh, Zoros because he was the last, he was the last one, he was, if you think of it in a, let me see, in a group, it's like, oh, select the 99th person, but it maxed out at 24, uh, it's just going to select the 24th person. All right, so now that we've done that, and we hit play, all right, Kurosensei, uh, Bakugo 2, Gon should have been one. <laughs> Naruto 4, and Sasuke 5, and then my top 5 shows up. Another thing we can do is change the colors and the images themselves. 
So in the one position, uh, by default, I set all these at white so you can have all the customization you need. So it could set one to red, a uh, second or two to, let's see, blue, and so forth, and just go all the way out. Um, you can also change the images themselves. So uh, what I saw someone do was they made a one piece effect where they generated different one piece characters. And instead of one, two, three, four, five, they had these images set to different roles. And it was pretty cool. A lot of people really liked it. So yeah, you could always change it from the base of one to five to a bunch of roles or ideas or something cool. And I guess finally, uh, let me show you after we put all of them in. So let's get a four. Aaron F5, my top five pops up. In the event you wanted to change this to something else, like I don't know, um, animes or favorite anime characters, uh, all you'd have to do is import whatever image you want to replace it with. So uh, I had this Eras Tour image from another Taylor Swift effect. Uh, import that. And all you have to do now is go over to the hierarchy panel. Um, top five, which is what I what I named this image, go over to the texture and just replace it with the image you wanted to replace it with. Now let me get serious. Aaron is definitely one. Light is three. Uh, Kilo should have been one. Rem is four, and Goku is five. And there you have it. So yeah, that is the that is that basically sums it up. Uh, a lot of work was put into this. That's why you have like backend, upper shrinking, all these subgraphs. So I do recommend, I guess in this case, subgroups. I do recommend going inside them, seeing how things work, seeing how it operates, so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on. And if you want more templates like this, uh, a bunch are posted in the Effect House Discord, which again will be in the description below. And the download link will also be below. My socials will be in the description. In the event you have any questions, you can always reach out. And yeah, I will be posting more Effect House tutorials. So if you like uh, this video, you're trying to learn more, feel free to subscribe. And yeah.